dead do not suffer the living to pass. You will suffer me. <laughs> Welcome once again, my fellow manipulators of Digital Fate. I'm Richie, this is Capricorn. Today's video is one of the very last deck techs that I have from Lord of the Rings Early Access. Uh, I believe there's one more after this coming, and then we're back to standard. Before we get to the deck, I just want to give a huge shout out to my patrons over at patreon.com slash quarantined Capricorn. That's Brittany, Yuck Fousey, Bob Steele, and Noah Vincent at the Brew Crew Elite tier, and then of course Terrence Rohrbach, our CPU savior. Thank you guys so much for all that you contribute each month. Uh, moving on, this deck is called... What is this deck called? Uh, what is this deck called? What is this deck called? Comeback King. That's it. Comeback King. The idea here is to use a very well-known strategy of Selesnya Enchantment sort of tribal but we're adding in the King of the Oath Breakers, we're splashing black to make it happen, and we're making use of some interesting Lord of the Rings cards that we're now able to use being an Abzan instead of Selesnya. So before we check out the deck, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, every deck tech video from now on that gets to 100 likes, we will iterate on that deck and make a new updated version of the deck list. So if you like this one and you wanna see a new version of it, make sure you like. Also, catch me live on Twitch every day, Monday through Friday. That's twitch.tv slash quarantined Capricorn because if I'm alive and I'm breathing, I'm there and I'm streaming. Let's check out this deck. All right, this is Comeback King. Now, the idea of this deck is very simple. We're taking Selesnya enchantments that are already practically busted in standard and to some extent alchemy and we're going even more over the top with some new cards and by bringing it into abzan so i'm gonna go over this really quick the new cards we'll get to at the end we've got four circle of confinement for removal we've got one invasion of gobacon because even though it isn't an enchantment at first uh, if we complete the battle it flips into an enchantment that we get to play for free and trigger everything uh all of our enchantment payoffs like hollowed haunting uh hollowed haunting being on the field for four mana every time we cast an enchantment we make a spirit when we get seven enchantments all of our creatures get flying and vigilance this is our main way to get to victory uh we've also got three machiko's reign of truth because we can just pump up our creatures by an absurd amount and swing in for lethal way earlier than anyone sees it coming we've got four spirited companion so that we can draw a card and also have our enchantment synergies We've got four Weaver of Harmony because it lets us double up our enchantment synergies. We've got four Jukai Naturalists because it is an enchantment that also lets all of our enchantments get played for one less mana, which lets us just vomit out our whole hand. Three drop slot, we have Wedding Announcement because it's just one of the best cards you can play. Counts as an enchantment. It's going to trigger all of our enchantment stuff. It's going to give us additional tokens each turn or potentially card draw, and then it's going to buff our whole team. We've got two Katilda, even though it's legendary, a lot of times the first one can just die. We can bring it back as Katilda's Rising Dawn on another creature, and then still play a second Katilda from our hand and have both the backside of the first Katilda and the front side of the second Katilda in play at the same time, and it can be insane. So I'm completely cool with only having two copies, uh, having two copies rather than just one copy, even though it's legendary. It is amazing. It also counts as a spirit, which is really, really important for this deck. We've also got one Calyx Guided by Fate. It is too good to not play. 2-2 two, two with Constellation. Whenever another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you put a counter on anything. And then whenever Calyx or an enchanted creature, which we don't have any auras in this deck, so it's going to be just when Calyx uh, swings. If you deal combat damage to a player, you create a token that's a copy of a non-legendary enchantment you control, but you can only do it once a turn. So Calyx is going to go over the top and get us insane value in a deck like this. Um, but now let's talk about the new cards. 
the card this deck is sort of built around is King of the Oathbreakers. One black, one white, and two for a 3-3 legendary spirit noble with flying. When it or another spirit you control becomes the target of a spell, it phases out. And whenever King of the Oathbreakers or another spirit you control phases in, you create a tapped 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. So this card's insanely powerful. They can't remove it with re uh, spot removal. If they target it, it just phases out and avoids the spot removal. And then when it comes back in, it makes another spirit. But also, they can't get rid of any of our other spirits. And we're going super wide with spirits from Hollowed Haunting. Not to mention Catilda, a few other uh, bits of value in there as well. So if they want to get rid of our other stuff, they first have to get rid of King of the Oathbreakers. But they can't get rid of King, of King of the Oathbreakers because it just phases out to protect itself. So it's really hard to get rid of this. It protects the majority of our board that we're going to create with Hollowed Haunting and our important late game plays like Catilda. And then it just gives us even more board presence if it gets phased out, which is just kind of absurd. Also, since we are playing black, we've got three Call of the Ring. This enchantment is absolutely nunny. At the beginning of our upkeep, the ring tempts you. So we get to choose a ring bearer. This lets us get in for damage a lot easier because that creature is going to become somewhat unblockable. Um, when we attack with it, We'll eventually get to draw a card, discard a card. We can do extra damage if we get all the way to being tempted four times because they'll lose three life every time our ring bearer hits them um, in, in addition to whatever damage we do. Um, but they also have to uh, sacrifice any blockers that happen to block our attacking creature. But just getting this down, getting our enchantment synergies and our triggers, getting to turn our little guys into the ring bearer so that they become somewhat unblockable can be super super good um but also whenever we choose a creature as our ring bearer we can pay two life to draw a card so this is also a way to draw an extra card pretty much every single turn and then we've got one other new card in the deck as well and that's flowering of the white tree we are only running one copy because it's legendary um and we don't ever want to be stuck with something in our hand that we can't play but <laughs> Our entire board getting a plus one plus one anthem for only two mana and our legendaries in particular getting an additional plus one plus oh and ward one is going to be super powerful that's going to apply to the calyx it's going to apply to catilda it's going to apply to king of the oath breakers but also we're just we're going super wide with spirits from hollowed haunting and all of those creatures are going to get an additional plus one plus one not to mention the fact that it is an enchantment so it's going to trigger all of our enchantment synergies as well so i think this deck is going to be pretty wild the mana base is a little tricky to get there we don't have triomes so we've got four shattered sanctums four land war uh sorry two land war wastes four brush land four overgrown farmland four razor verge thicket four forsaken crossroads and just one thron portal and the deck is a beast so let's check out the games uh we'll keep this Start with Overgrown Farmland into Brushland and play the Spirited Companion. Hello. Land, Spirited Companion. I don't think we want to play the Naturalist. I think we want a Spirited Companion to get to a third land drop. And we didn't get there. Oh god. Nazgul incoming. And we just keep being screwed for land, I guess. I 
All right, Nazgul. Inquisitor Captain, sure. Nazgul. That's pretty nuts. It's actually pretty good. Inquisitor Captain with the Nazgul, because the chances you're going to hit a Nazgul are probably higher. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. No attacks. That's six enchantments. If we played Hollow Taunting, everything gets flying in vigilance. Don't know if that's gonna matter. But we'll see. Nope, no block. We might block next turn. We're not blocking this turn. Ring tempts me. Do some shenanigans. Swing. Get back our life, put him at six, pass the turn, oh boy. Call of the Ring putting in some work there. Claim the Precious, sure. I mean, we still win next turn, right? cost reduction anymore so we actually can't do it like that we got to do it like if we want to keep if we want to keep enough enchantments to give our guys flying we got to do it like that Got you. That ring was helpful. Got us a couple cards that we needed. Uh, we're gonna keep seven. Start with an overgrown farmland. We'll go Weaver. Portal for white. And he scoops to a Calyx. Um, guess we keep this. I didn't say there was enough time for pizza. I just said you wanted it. Oh, we're playing J-Villain. He's playing Mono Red. Who plays Mono Red in early access? I'm gonna have to give that boy a piece of my mind. This thing is so dead. So, so dead. Nothing. 
thing to kill the naturalist? Is it just a goblin deck? Okay. Okay. Didn't play it beforehand. Very strange. Very, very strange. I think we gotta do this while we can. And hope to hit a land next turn and cast two Circle of Confinements. If we're spitting out tokens every turn, and we get to cast two Circle of Confinements, I think we might be okay. We'll see. Oh god. Couldn't get there. Stuck on land. Nah, I don't think... I don't think that's the case, Red Demon. I think they just figured it out. It wasn't planned. You deserve it, J-Villain, with your crazy goblin deck. Alright, we'll keep seven. Delighted Halfling. Uh, we'll start with a Sanctum. play the companion because we really need something to play on three. Forceful cultivator. This is just a tally ramp, right? Again. Oh, we can't eat the Cultivator because it's technically a 4-drop. That's annoying. Would you like to play another Delighted Halfling? Good sir. Spiteful Banditry. Okay. I mean, he hurt his own ramp, so... It's not the worst ever. Five, six, he only needs one more mana for Atali. Hopefully he didn't top deck it. Hew the Entwood. Sack any number of lands. Two free portals. Well, okay then. Luckily, he doesn't have much he can get out of the yard. So we might still get there? Forceful Cultivator. He's pretty rough on lands, though, and he's not going to have many creatures to get from us. I think he might have, like, kind of killed himself there. Play the Companion. Get two Haunting Triggers. Play. I think we want this, right?
And I think we win next turn. He got rid of all of his lands for portals to Phyrexia that he can't get creatures off of. Because we're a hollowed haunting deck. Which is kind of hilarious. The Call of the Rings gonna help us draw into stuff we need. Another Call of the Ring. Oh god. Well, I guess we just go ham, huh? Yep. We got him. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons over at Patreon. Without you guys, this channel would not be possible. So honestly, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your contributions. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe. The more likes we get and the quicker we get them, the bigger this channel will grow and the faster it will grow. I'd love nothing more than this channel to become something very special for you guys, but it's entirely up to you how fast that happens. Also, if you'd like more deck text, that's somewhere over there. And if you'd like to see what else the channel's been up to lately, that's somewhere up that way. Also, subscribe, circle below, do all the things.